Well, come all aboard. Together with our driver Alex, I'll be taking you on a journey through a typical day in the truck of the future. Alex identifies himself by means of video-based facial recognition. Besides confirming his identity, the system also checks that he's fit to drive. All data and personal settings are synchronized and sent from the cloud to the infotainment system screen. The truck's plug-in hybrid powertrain lets Alex drive in full electric mode in the logistics yards or in towns, and it eases his train on the diesel engine during acceleration elsewhere. In the logistics yards, the vehicle drives completely automatically and purely on electricity. It navigates using GPS and environment sensors, including cameras, radar and ultrasonic sensors. These cover objects anywhere in the vicinity. The electric hydraulic steering guides the truck to its destination in the yard. Alex doesn't have to do anything when hooking up the trailer either. He keeps an eye on the docking status of both truck and trailer by using the surround view. As soon as docking is complete, the two central electronic control units link up and Alex can immediately see the status of the trailer. Bosch's track queue system checks the cargo. It is complete and intact. That means we are clear to go. The receiver of the cargo can track our status at all times. Before heading off, Alex can adjust the rest of his settings. For instance, he can choose his favorite cloud music on the media player. The Bosch infotainment system features broadband internet access. As we leave the yard and head for the freeway, Alex is steering the truck but receives plenty of support from a host of Bosch assistant systems. The adaptive cruise control automatically corrects the distance to the vehicle in front and matches its speed and can even bring the truck to a stop should it encounter a traffic jam. At the same time, road sign recognition prevents the truck from exceeding the speed limit. When the truck is turning, the turn assist checks to see if it's putting any road users at risk and warns Alex if necessary. The lane keeping assistant keeps the truck firmly in its own lane and automatic emergency braking can reliably bring the truck to a stop in an emergency. As right now. Alex didn't see the car, but the predictive emergency braking system did and put the truck's brakes on in time. However, now there's a notification from the trailer. The acceleration sensor in the track queue system detected a shock for one of the packages labeled fragile. On the display, Alex can see that the cargo is still securely stowed and the situation is not critical. For now, he'll continue driving. The customer has been informed of the incident at the same time. The connector to Horizon also recognizes route-specific details and it's just no warning that there is a construction up ahead. As you can see, we are right now on the freeway. Alex will receive them more than driver assistance. Bosch's innovative systems enable highly automated driving too. This transfers control to the truck. It makes our vehicle even safer, more convenient and more environmentally friendly when on the road. Alex lets the highway pilot take over. He can now sit back and relax. Mentally, he is in the passenger seat. Automated driving makes it possible for Alex to engage in a particular use case for trucks, namely platooning. A platoon is when you have three to five trucks driving together in a line with minimal distance between the vehicles. Driving in a platoon offers many advantages. The trucks behind the lead vehicle save on fuel thanks to the reduced wind resistance. The drivers can relax, the trucks take up less of the road and road safety increases. Now our truck automatically weaves its way into the platoon. It joins the back of the group, adjusts its speed accordingly and decreases its distance to the next vehicle down to just 7 meters or 0.3 seconds. The steering wheel is no longer required and moves out the way to give Alex more room. He can now turn his attention to other tasks. 
Our truck communicates with the other trucks over a vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle link. The lead truck does the steering for all members of the platoon. When it carries out a maneuver, the others follow suit after a certain interval. Since the trucks communicate directly with each other, they can platoon even where there's no cellular network coverage. Here comes another notification. Alex's employer messages him to say that he is to take on more cargo at the truck stop in Bamberg. From that point on, the truck will be at full capacity. Alex confirms the assignment. He learns that the vehicle servicing can be done while the new cargo is being loaded and receives all the information regarding the revised schedule. Alex confirms all changes and orders a coffee for the break. Alex presently receives a notice that he will soon be arriving at the truck stop and therefore has to lock out of the platoon. All trucks in the platoon are notified. At the entrance to the truck stop, Alex's display indicates that it is possible to navigate the grounds using automatic driving. The truck needs up-to-date information to use this feature and gets it from the big. While the truck automatically drives into the reserved parking space, Alex gets an overview of the plant loading and maintenance procedures. Since these are fully automated, Alex can take a break until they are finished. As Alex leaves the truck, it switches into secured parking mode by activating the brake-in controls and informing the security service provider. Here you'll see what happens in the meantime. The Bosch Trailer Control Unit recognizes the identity of the cargo on the forklift and opens the trailer doors automatically. Once all the new packages and pallets have been loaded, the doors close and bolt themselves and the security system is reactivated. Meanwhile, Bosch Mobile Truck Service has replaced the Lambda sensor as recommended by the predictive diagnostic system. Alex receives a message on his smartphone informing him that he is cleared to resume driving. Back in the truck, the display shows what has been done and what happens next. Now that the Lambda sensor has been changed, Alex's route has been recalculated and optimized. The truck indicates that it can leave the truck stop automatically and can also drive the next stretch of the route in automatic mode, this time without the convoy. Alex confirms the new settings and the journey continues. After the truck has automatically left the truck stop and entered the freeway, it detects a slower vehicle and passes it entirely automatically. As we head towards our destination, we will fast forward a bit in our presentation. The powertrain display shows the various modes of the hybrid system as well as how much charge the battery has left. The battery can be recharged from any of four different power sources. From an electric socket when the truck is standing still, from recovery of braking energy, from the diesel engine when driving, or from the Bosch waste heat recovery system. This last system constantly recharges the battery as soon as the diesel powertrain is engaged. Shortly before the truck reaches its destination, the customer receives notice of its impending arrival at the logistics yard. They mobilize the necessary stuff and assign a loading bay. Information for navigating the yard is sent to Alex and his truck. While the truck drives automatically and electrically to the loading bay, Alex checks his hours. Here he can see how long he was behind the wheel and how much driving time remains. To take the highly automated driving mode into account, the meter distinguishes between passive and active driving time. Once we dock at the loading bay, our journey today has ended. The cargo is unloaded and checked. Since the track queue system has been monitoring the goods the whole time, there is no need for an incoming goods inspection, except for the package with the acceleration sensor alert. Track queue also assists the custom in transporting the goods directly to the right storage location. You see, everything went well on this 21st of September in the year 2026.